Hey painters, welcome to Art with Corb. Sorry I can't be here with you on this wonderful Friday. You've got a lot of work to do and hopefully after Wednesday and the many things we did then, you're all set ready to go. So let's get started. Today what you're going to be doing is I bought you all apples so that you have something to use as a starting point. What we're going to do is you're going to practice without any guidance on my end, uh, because I'm not here, you're going to work on a painting using acrylic paints of your apple. Now, on Wednesday, you were given the apple, and I hope you haven't eaten it, because it, otherwise you have nothing to paint. Um, and I think they'll be good sitting on your shelves. But if not, I think we've got a couple extras. So just ask the substitute. But not enough for everybody to eat one on Wednesday and then have a brand new one today. Mm, they smell good. Today what you're going to do is with the canvas. It's not really a canvas. It's a piece of paper. With the piece of paper that we prepared on Wednesday, um, remember that we took gesso, this white acrylic gesso, and we primed our piece of paper first and then what we did was you chose a tone to prime that canvas with a second time so here we've got my tone I'm going to go with a warm tone for my second coat remember that that first coat of gesso was all in one direction as the only one direction that will ever be played in this classroom yeah that joke just never gets old and then my second coat with my tone is going to go in the opposite direction. Now, when we do canvases later on, when we do canvases later on in the semester, um, we're going to probably put three coats of gesso on so that the canvas that you're going to build is really, really good to paint on. So there's my second coat of gesso. Hopefully we got to this Wednesday so that it's dry for today. Today what you're going to do is you're going to take that apple. Sorry you had to look at the back of my head for so long. I don't even know if you can see the back of my head. Today what you're going to do is you're going to take your apple and a pencil and filling up this space you're going to draw a very large closed composition of your apple using the different techniques that I've given you. And again, I'm not teaching you a whole lot yet. We're going to go through it after we're done with this first painting just to see what you can do. You're going to use all those different techniques, scumbling, wet on wet, uh, solid colors next to solid colors, texture, transparency, glazing, uh, now I just think I'm just making stuff up that might not even be on the list. But you're going to use that to paint the apple as realistically as possible. The second thing is, as a background, as a negative space, I want you to paint the complement, some sort of complement. Yeah, I take that back. I want you to choose a color scheme to round out the negative space. So if you wanted to do complements and the dominant color of my apple is red, its complement would be? That's right, exactly what you said. If I wanted to deal with an analogous color scheme, how would that relate? If I wanted to split complementary, or I wanted to do all warm colors, or uh, maybe I used the backside and it was more of a yellow green or a greenish sort of color, I wanted to do all cool colors. You get the point. So that your composition will have some sense of harmony, some sense of unity to it. That's your job today. So I'm kind of facing the back of the room. I want you to note that all of the acrylic paints, like I said last time, are in the cabinets beneath the sinks. So we got yellows and oranges and reds and purples and blues. Some of the other materials are above that first sink where it says employees must wash hands before re returning to work. We've got gel medium, we've got modeling paste, we've got a texturizer that you can grind up and sprinkle into your paint to give it some texture. Um, gel medium, texturizer, that's about it, modeling paste. So those things are all in there. 
Hopefully by now, oh, I see a young man running across the playground trying to get out of school. Good for him. Um, remember that I've asked you to try to have yourself some sort of talent for this class. Uh, this costs about $6 at Walmart. It's a Sterilite. I've got a couple of these at home. Uh, my wife bought another one, bigger box, different thing. Inside of it, inside of it, what I've done is I've taken a piece of, and this is all review because we talked about this on Wednesday. I put a piece of plastic in, which I don't have extras of, but I put a piece of um, uh, pallet paper on it so that I could use it. So if you wanted to get something like this and just put a piece of pallet paper for the time being, you can do that. The other thing I recommend you do is get a, a series of those um, square sponges so you can line the bottom of it and have it continue to stay wet. So today, you got your board ready to go, lightly in HB. You're gonna sketch out the apple to the best of your ability. I don't want you to draw an apple or paint an apple based on what you think, but based on rather what it really looks like, and then go from there. I think I've talked a lot. Yep, six minutes, 14 seconds. You've got a lot to do today. So making sure we don't wreck the boards with gesso because we use them for a lot of other things. You've got plenty of tape around your uh, piece of gessoed watercolor paper, which we hopefully took care of on Wednesday. Um, you're gonna paint. You've got your brushes, you've got your paints. Remember your paints are back here. If you don't have a palette, please get a palette this weekend. The palettes are in the far corner of the room, way over there, uh, and the palette paper is there also. Make sure that you put your palette paper on a plastic palette and go from there. If you have a lot of paint left over, it's very wasteful, and that's why we have closed containers like this so that we can keep our paint from day to day to day. That's it. Questions, comments, concerns? Ask one another. Ask your guest teacher, your substitute, and uh, I'll see you on Tuesday. Have a great one. Bye.